even when they even had more success in what year was that? 94, they were first place. And yeah. then they had the strike and the season didn't finish. Right. They had Larry Walker and Marquise Grissom and Pedro Martinez and all those guys. And um, they were the, clearly the best team in baseball. Yeah. And, then, and the season was canceled because of a strike. Well, that's that, what's crazy. That killed the Expos, right? That killed them. Because then the next year, they couldn't afford to re-sign a, a lot of those guys, and that was it. And, and I feel like at a point, too, even in the 90s, it became Major League Baseball's farm system for all intents and purposes. Yeah, and guys did. like Vlad Guerrero and Jose Rijo and Fernando Tatis and Yugurtha Bean. I mean, and I'm probably missing like, Orlando Andres Cabrera. Balraga. Right. Like, there's so many guys. And you just knew. I mean, you knew that it was those guys were gone after a certain amount of years. Randy Johnson. Right. I mean, as I said, I probably lost, left so many off the list, right? But, I mean, years of pumping out, I mean, big-time baseball players, Hall of Fame baseball players. I mean, guys. Speaking of Hall of Fame, you know, yeah. I, did get, I got to play with, you know, Tim Raines, Andre Dawson, Gary Carter, God rest his soul. And uh, Pete Rose, who should be in the Hall of Fame. Pete was a good friend of mine. Agreed. Agreed. Played cards with him all the time. Played knock gin with him endlessly. <laughs> For money, of course. He always had a bet. You were inducted into the Cape Cod League Hall of Fame, which I find absolutely amazing in itself. Um, but you also had some tremendous numbers. You batted 426 in, 90, in 78 before you got injured. You had six home runs in 13 games. Uh, you were league all-star in 1979. As I said, in 2008, you were inducted into the Cape Cod Baseball League uh, Hall of Fame. And what I found really great was we mentioned earlier about your batting average as well. So then I looked up some premier uh, baseball players over the years that have gone to Ivy League schools just to give people an idea of the audience of some of the people that – past that play major league baseball and currently play major league baseball that are ivy league guys that you know you hold this record over which i think is amazing mo berg which i yeah. love his book i i I, yeah. I think that's unbelievable lou gehrig mark de rosa bill allman and then kyle hendricks that you know currently plays in baseball now and you hold that distinct record i think that you should wear that wear that as like a, a shield of armor i think that's unbelievable You know, I didn't even know it till about, I don't know, what, uh, five years ago, I, I um, w went to a reunion event at Harvard with, you know, just the regular 35th or whatever hell reunion it was. And, um, and, and I went to visit the athletic facility and immediately they, they, any athlete that walked in, they, hey, we got this new encyclopedia of, or these new two volume, you know, history of Harvard sports that we're looking for all alumni to buy. So I bought it and I'm flipping through and there's baseball and and all of a sudden there's this line in there. Stenhouse, who was the all-time batting average leader in Ivy League history. I'm like, what? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I went back, I called the guy, I said, is this true? <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's true. That's I said, unreal. Oh, it's pretty cool. The one thing that I want to bring up to you and you're wearing the gear is playing for the 86 Sox. I mean, you played, I mean, you talked about the squad that you played with in Montreal. I mean, the 86 Sox were a squad in themselves. I mean, all-stars, Hall of Famers, I mean, legendary players. I mean, and obviously we know how their season ended, tough run, you know, tough luck in game six, and then losing game seven. I mean, you played with those guys, you knew those guys. I mean, talk about that 86 team a little bit and what you maybe learned as a baseball player even if it was a short stint, playing for that organization and playing for that team that was a game away from winning the World Series. It was a very, it was my hometown team. You know, I'm wearing the stuff today. Um, but it was a very difficult and bitter, I wouldn't even say bittersweet, just it was kind of a, you know, if you really want to look at it, I was honored to be able to play for my hometown team, but it was really a bitter experience for me. 